Overrated does not mean that. It just means you're not as good as the public perception of you is, right? You're not as good as people say you are. It's not terrible. You mean overrated. Derek Jeter and Ray <laughs> are overrated. Right? He's also overrated on television. Don't tell him that. Yeah. Uh, but he's still good. And he's a good baseball player. He's just overrated. All right, furthermore, let's go down to Park Avenue. And we are told, a follow-up to a story we provided you in a previous episode of the show, we are told that NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell is indeed working on the final details, crossing the T's, dotting the I's, on a three-year, three-year contract extension that will keep him in his current role as the figurehead of football through the spring of 2027. So the question on this one is why, why is Roger Goodell getting a three-year contract extension? We've talked about this in the past, but my, my take has evolved here. My, my position at this moment about Roger Goodell, the reason that he's getting a three-year extension is because of fear. The owners are afraid. The owners in the NFL are afraid. This is a harebrained plan. He can force the 49ers to sell. They do not want to upset the cash cow. They don't. And they have this mission Nike. guys in their heads where they, they seem to think, right? They seem to think, they're like, well, the reason we're making uh, money hand over fist is because of Goodell. That's not it, you dummies, right? There's also the fear of the unknown, right? It's like, uh, they hear that from people in bad relationships. Like, I don't want to get a divorce because you know, I don't know. I, I'm too old to go dating. And, and I, 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 the, the, the devil you know, right? See, the devil you know. And so there's a lot of that going on. Uh, but to foolishly think that the revenue streams of the NFL are directly tied to Roger Goodell, okay, that is a special kind of dumb dumb, is what that is. And uh, spoiler alert, it's not true. It is not true. Roger Goodell did not set up the idiot-proof business model. That happened years before it. Right? The NFL makes all this money because they're the last in the league. That's it. Everyone else on television, uh, most people watch it on demand. I, I, I just got a TV show. I mean, if I'm getting a TV show, anyone can get a TV show. And even I know people are complaining, like, well, I'd rather watch it on a streaming service. Well, it's only on cable. You got to record it. Well, I don't really record it. So people complain about that. People are so programmed now to not watch things when they're on. You watch them when you want to watch them. And so it's an issue, right? It's pe people's habits have changed. And we, so I'm the same way. I'm no different. Like, I, I, even the show that I do, I want to watch it when I want to watch it. And it, it's, uh, it's just, we've all been trained that way. But the NFL is one of those things. Hey, can you really watch an old game? No, you're a loser. You're the dork. If you're watching an old NFL game, you've got to watch it in real time. you got to react in real time. That's a fact. Right, that's the way it is. And it's, it has nothing to do with Roger Goodell. Right? If, if we woke up tomorrow, and like tonight we've got the Chiefs and the Broncos. What a dud of a Thursday night game. If you're not a Chiefs or a Broncos fan, even if you are, it's probably a dud. But if we wake up, it's like, well, we don't need to even watch it. We can watch it on Friday or Saturday. We'll catch up on the game. Nobody does that. But if that happened, then TV revenues would go down. All right, party shot. We go to Boston. Boy, this is a great story. I'm getting content every day on this. 95.7 at 2.54 in the morning. <clears throat> How limited is this content? They edit their show onto YouTube, but it's so pro 49ers, it feels like they're the only sports radio in the world. I really need to get Philadelphia Eagles radio. Let's go out. Ninety-five point seven. I'm a big fan of their YouTube takeover. <clears throat> Ninety-five point seven.
that was my favorite host too. I don't even know his name. But uh going out the front door. Thursday Night Football, that's what the radio was talking about. Expect Patrick Mahomes to win, and uh, Russell Wilson is just as good as Patrick. I mean, I mean, it, it's an awesome matchup. It's great to see Russell versus Patrick. Be it's better than Brock versus Cleveland's back. Cle we we know the Cowboys forced the 49ers to play on a short field. They didn't contest any pass. They, they look, it, it's the same way Baltimore got really big and popular. They let Lamar Jackson run up his stats. So, a, a rookie Lamar Jackson, uh, Lamar Jackson's whole career is similar to Brock Purdy. The Bengals let Lamar Jackson win. They went easy on him. I wanted the Bengals to play the Jaguars last year in the playoffs so we wouldn't be blamed for uh, ending Jackson's career, but Jackson didn't even play the game. It would have been really bad. The backup one. Baltimore has been almost the best team for the last 25 years. There's never been a year Baltimore hasn't been threatening to leave town. Baltimore. <clears throat> I retreated PFF wide receiver rankings. Tyreek Hill is not even close. He's number one, and number two is not even close. Brandon Ayuk is number two, but he, he only has 20 catches, is that right? Jamar Chase had 15 catches last week, man. Might have been 16. I did, all I know is Joe Mixon is coming to town, man. The the I'm in San Francisco, and the Bengals will be here. The Bengals are coming. So uh, the 49ers haven't had a, a real home game. Okay, what, what, What's going to happen is the Bengals are going to come in. They're going to end this 49er undefeated. It's going to be 
Joe Burrow's gonna throw 10 touchdowns. The Bengals are, are looking really healthy. Uh, Logan, Logan Wilson. Now Jermaine Pratt might be a question for the game. Oh, Jermaine. So we need two things after I hit 7-Eleven. Two things before I go to bed. I need to switch my radio to Philadelphia off because I'm on 95.7 the game which is just pro San Francisco they were singing na 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 boo boo goodbye for the Dodgers today that's just exactly what I want them to do our local radio makes LA Dodger jokes that's what I want them to do The new Total War Bronze Age doesn't have Macedonia. So we're going to have a big problem where there's no Macedonian video games. We can't have Macedon. The Macedonian is still banned. You don't understand how a ban works. It just hasn't come to America yet. Miraculously, it's just not out yet. I want to eat hot dogs and eggs. I was looking at the pr the prices of roofing in the Philippines. <clears throat> Somebody is smoking. And then at the main door to the hotel here. I could hear them strike their lighter six times, like chick, 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 chick. Yo, dog. Can't even get his fire on. I just free, free food out. Let's look at the feast. Mmm. What do we got here? Yeah. Dim. Dim. Dim sum. Huh. This is what other regular people want, I guess. Nice. This is artistic right here. The MacBook Air box. I will confirm that is a MacBook Air box with the custom box written all over it. Now we're outside Hotel Cartwright. No TV. Where the television at? To the mailboxes and what? Those are fucking all empty. Antique mailboxes. Let's take a look at my dims and yeah. 
Looks good to me. Life is about eating out of the trash. I am one with California. That's why I can stay here. Of course, I'll focus on eating the filling. It's okay. I'm not afraid of trash food, man. Come on. Yeah. Okay. Let's start here. I'm gonna go eat the rest of that pork bun. I'm trash. Okay, that's good. I don't want to eat anything else. This was too, too good. Pork bun. So good. The bottom is wet. Perfect ocean temperature. Usually room temperature food is temperature of a room which is warm. This is like Very similar to my lunch.
which was two tacos. Everybody complains that shit doesn't stay open all night. You have to force your society to keep your shit open at night. There's a good view of the tunnel. <clears throat> the 49ers have had the damn 15 easy games in a row, I swear to God. And they got even shook a couple times by the Seahawks. They not clutch. They pad stats. They've been leading. They've been leading well, for like ninety-five percent of the season. They've had. They've been in trash time, running the stats up, and that that's how we expose them. Christian McCaffrey had ninety-nine runs after five games. Everybody knows. It's a hundred. He's a wow, a hundred yards per game. Wow. But dude, a real man gonna go, is gonna run two hundred yards. So one hundred ain't shit. Come out, one hundred is a lot, man. Fuck off. You got exposed. <laughs> Trash time McCaffrey. He's one of these Ted's that where the T fell off because something didn't work. Yeah. Your rivals will appear alphabetically near you. Yes, Ted, Theodore Belcher. I refuse to answer to that name. I'm not. That's not my name. Hot, hot yoga downstairs. You're not allowed upstairs anymore. So most of our infrastructure is empty floors. Buildings with nothing. Nice ground floors.
they'd be like, there's no electricity in the Gaza. But every time I see a bomb, I should have lights are on. They did not shut, cut down the river. They shut off everything else but the river. It's all about building roofs wherever you want. Pay, put all your money on the roof, man. We don't build it. <sighs> like I said, my family is from a roofing family, yeah. From Peoria, Illinois, the Crayling Roofing Company. Everybody pays the same person for the roof. Hi. So I'm gonna go all the way back to my room, turn on the radio, and react to it, what they're saying now. Maybe we'll see Jason. Santa Barbara, they're still the gauchos. Yeah, they don't it, care. I think it was more the logo than it was the name. Oh, no, stop. I mean, don't I'm, defend them. Those look idiots. at the Bobcats now. Bobcats. That's the dumbest that. Uh, nah, there's too many feline they, mascots uh, out there. Yeah. And should have been... Bulldogs. What's, uh, South, what's a good name for that school? Like a mascot. I'm trying to think like... South OC, Pot growers. Uh, spoiled wolves or something like that. Oh, yeah, you're right. Sorry. That's wrong right. That was my other alma mater. There's it's nothing wrong there. with gauchos. Everyone's Why so freaking a... sensitive. Why is that offensive? I'm... How about Caballero? Go Caballero. I love, I love, we had Sean the Hook guy in here earlier, right? And Sean's like, I miss the Redskins and I miss the Cleveland Indians. And he's like, he's going, that's hilarious. Like, I agree with you. Anyway, all right. Uh, it is the Ben Mashers. We have great audio. 
Coaches say the darndest things. We take it now to uh, New York, actually New Jersey. The Jets are going to play the Philadelphia football team uh, this weekend. And certainly a big point spread there, seven-point line. As I continue my prep, we'll be recording Penny versus the Penny later today. So anyway, uh, Robert Sala, the head coach of the Jets, was asked about how to stop the tush push. And he, he implied that. I guess the... the, the the way to stop the tush push is involving the tongue. Involving the tongue. Uh, take take a listen. You know, the reality is, they're, I mean, they're really good at it. And it feels like the quarterback is wearing a bulletproof vest when you look at him. He's got all that padding on. But, uh, you yeah. know, whether they get it, we're going to do our best to try to stop it. And, you know, the quarterback's got his... They, and they do a lot of stuff off it, too. They got reverses. They got pop passes. They got stretch oh, yeah. they, they do a lot. So you got to be sound. you got to be disciplined. Go, uh, so we'll, we'll, we'll do our best in that regard. And, but if the quarterback carries the ball, we got to give him love and kisses. Why? And just put, figure out a way to do that. So. Is that illegal? Are you allowed to... If, like, seriously, if they kiss Jalen Hurts, well, first of all, he'd probably punch him. But he said... I, he said 11 kisses. Yeah, so every yeah, defense of band kisses. That sounds like a conga line. All right, everyone line up. Give a kiss to, <laughs> to Jalen Hurts. In Salah's mind, <laughs> kiss is like a, a, a full-speed tackle. No, no, I think he means a tongue kiss, like a nice wet kiss like you were hoping to get in high school. You know, like a real good tongue kiss. I, I think he, he wants to put a kissing booth at the 35-yard line in the metal lines. That's what he wants to do. Yeah, gross. It's pretty disgusting. Oh, Robert Salah, I think this is a fireable offense. I think that he should be fired for this. I think. All right. Uh, anyway, let's go real quick. Let's go to a connoisseur of food. Uh, boy, this uh, then four hours of sports takes, and the only thing people want to talk about is chili. Slug is in Vegas. Hello, Slug. Hello, Mallard. Hey, buddy. Well, hey, buddy. Hey, uh, yeah, yeah, I got to tell you, as a multiple-time chili cook-off winner, Canada Valley Days uh, chili cook-off, What is chili? Chopped up hearts? What's the name of the show? I think I hadn't been live for a couple days. This is Ted Belcher, 95.7 Radio. Fox Radio. I think I hadn't. Nobody has contested Brandon Ayuk. Keyed on Ed, Mc, Ed McCaffrey's kid. <clears throat> Nick Bosa doesn't even have 11 tackles. He's like 10 and a half. He averages two tackles a game. These Cleveland defenders average five or seven apiece, all of them. With people in the 12s and 11s. I grew up with the Browns when I was uh, not what? 11 years old, I was watching the Browns versus the Denver. That was sad. That's some of the first football I ever saw that wasn't college. But I always knew people always, you know. I was still 11. I still knew who the Cowboys were before that. I just knew we didn't get Dallas to television in Los Angeles. Football was just new coming to Los Angeles when... Uh, I was born in 76 because the Rams weren't 
enough. Yeah. Oversold the baseball team a little too much. The Dodgers eked it out though over my lifetime. Cheap gasoline. That's how they get their fans back and forth to the to the arena. Keep the gas slow. Keep the traffic slow. Heck, I mean, pretty safe place to not get run over. Dodge parking lot. Nice, nice place. Might be the most memorable place in all of Los Angeles. And, uh, <clears throat> there's basketball camp at the Oakland dot code Coliseum. That is uh, the biggest event they can pull in Oakland right now. Waiting on news from uh, the Gerald R. Ford. You know what I'm saying? That's all I can really say. Yeah, I'm gonna go look for that. And I'll get um, my Philadelphia radio. I'm now a mem member of the K Kensington so I, I was gifted a channel membership, which isn't bad. Cause I can look at unrestricted bum footage in Philadelphia. Multicultural migration grew a sleepy trading post of 800 to a city of over 250,000. Roofs, cheap roofs. All right, see you around.